Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful shorts and I'm gonna be uh, telling you and showing you how to make it for any size doll that you have. So let's begin. To start with, I'm gonna do a chain that is adequate to the length of the waist, to the measurement of the waist of my doll. So let's start by making a slip knot. I need a few stitches more here. So, okay. so. Uh, in this case, to make it looser is better than to make it tighter because we are going to uh, probably make a strap. Uh, so just consider consider that have that in mind when you do this but for me I think it's it's good enough like it is now I think I'm gonna add just one or two because when I'm I want to put the shorts on I don't want it to be hard and when I want it to take it off the doll it, I want it to be like really easy to do that so just a couple more stitches so you see it's really easy an easy pattern that you can adjust to any doll so two more there we go now what i'm gonna do is slip stitch to the beginning and here the only thing that you want to be careful is uh, of is that your chain is not twisted uh, what we, we want to do now is a chain one and start doing a, a double crochet in each stitch I just finished uh, making all the double crochet and what I'm gonna do now is a uh, slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made and then I'm going to chain one here and do in the same space a double crochet and I'm gonna continue making one double crochet in each stitch in our second round here. Uh, 
uh, so I just finished also making double crochet for this round and I'm gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made in this round and basically you want to repeat what we just did in this uh, round, uh, round number two we just want to repeat it as you like because uh, this, what we're doing now, now is the 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 waist of the shorts so if you want it high waisted if you have of course a bigger doll than mine as always I'm using this doll and it's pretty small but it's um, it's the same uh, technique and it's the same thing for any size any doll uh, and that's it you can make more you can make uh, just you can just stop here I think I might just stop here because it's already uh, good enough for the the waist uh, of this doll what we're gonna do now is start with the legs of the shorts and here it's important to have an even number of double crochet uh, so for me I had 19 so I had to add one here before I slip stitch and uh, chain one so just do that if you if you don't have a, an even number just add one double crochet at the end it, it won't matter really it's okay um, and then what I'm gonna do so I have 20 here 20 double crochet now what I'm gonna do is um, I didn't chain one so I'm gonna chain one to start with and then I'm gonna double crochet half the number that I have to make the first leg so I'm gonna double crochet 10 and the next 10 stitches so one oops, two, three, four, Six, this is the last one. So, for in your case whatever the, the number of double crochet that you have uh, just make it an even number as I said if it is already uh, all you have to do really is uh, start a new round make double crocheting half uh, the the number and what we're gonna do here we're gonna do things differently we're gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made just now there we go I'm gonna do my double my slip stitch again. Okay, there. What I'm gonna do now is chain one, and I'm gonna continue doing one double crochet in each stitch. until I reach my first uh, double crochet so for me I just finished this round I made the double crochets I slip stitch into the first double crochet and I'm gonna just fasten off and cut the yarn I'm gonna cut it here because th this is enough length for me if you want it uh, if you want to do more you can um, and now I will cut the yarn and start making the other leg so to do the second leg hold your shorts uh, upside down like this and you have to go into the empty double crochet right next to uh, the shorts the, the leg that we did and here you're gonna tie your yarn 
in the same space where I tied my yarn I'm gonna do a double crochet and now I'm gonna turn my work and I'm gonna do the the second double crochet in the space that's across from me and it should be the ninth the tenth uh, stitch for me from where I'm at and now I'm gonna continue uh, doing one double crochet until I reach my first double crochet and then I'm gonna slip stitch you into it So I just slip stitched here. And I'm gonna chain one and do another round of double crochet just like I did with the other leg. And I'll meet you when I'm done. So this is what my shorts looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, I just have to weave in all these ends and I will get back to you. Uh, this is my shorts when I finished weaving in all the ends. I used one of the ends to try and sew in the open space that I had here and now it's looking real real good. I was planning on making a sort of a straps but my shorts ended up being already high-waisted enough for my doll so maybe in the future I will make another shorts for a bigger doll and I will show you how to make a um, a space for the strap and the strap so till next time